In this video, we're going to find the derivative of y equals the quantity 9 plus x to the 3 over x solution. So because we have a variable here and we have a variable down here, uh, what we'll do to make this easier is we'll take the natural log of both sides. So we have the natural log of y equals the natural log of 9 plus x to the 3 over x. Then we'll use the power rule for logs to bring down the 3 over x. So this is the natural log of y equals 3 over x, natural log of 9 plus x. And now we'll take the derivative of both sides with respect to x. So when we take the derivative of the natural log of y with respect to x, we get 1 over y times, and then the derivative of the inside function. Well, the inside function is y, and its derivative is just called dy dx. So that there is the chain rule. This is equal to, here we have to use the product rule. Now, I have the derivative of 3 over x memorized. If you look at 1 over x, you can write that as x to the negative 1. And so if you take the derivative of x to the negative 1, what you do is you bring the negative 1 downstairs, and then you subtract 1, and so you get negative 2. So you end up with negative 1 over x squared. So here we just have a 3. So when we use the product rule, the derivative of the first piece is negative 3 over x squared times, and then the second piece, natural log of 9 plus x plus the first piece, so 3 over x times the derivative of the natural log. That's just 1 over 9 plus x. And then the chain rule says we take the derivative of the inside, which is 1. So again, let's go over that derivative one more time. So when you take the derivative of the left-hand side, it's 1 over y, and then times the derivative of the inside. Well, what's the inside function? It's y. And the derivative of y is called dy dx. So that's the chain rule. Here we use the product rule. So the derivative of the first is this guy here times the second plus the first. And then this here is the derivative of the natural log of 9 plus x. So it's 1 over 9 plus x times and then the derivative of the inside. To finish this, we'll just multiply both sides by y. This is the part that I think a lot of people mess up on at the end. So dy dx is equal to, well, multiplying by y, this y cancels, and we put a y here. So we get y, and then I'll use a bracket, negative 3 over x squared, natural log of 9 plus x, and then plus 3 over x, times 1 over 9 plus x. And we're not done, right? y is equal to nine, natural log, or rather 9 plus x to the 3 over x. So dy dx is equal to y, but y was 9 plus x to the 3 over x. So this is y. So you did have to plug that back in. So this is negative 3 over x squared natural log 9 plus x and then plus 3 over x times 1 over 9 plus x. So that is the final uh, answer. I hope that made sense.